Welcome to Wallatopia. Today we have the <coughs> the Garzini Cavari Magic. <laughs> it's that magic word, I guess. <clears throat> magic wallet. So we'll, let's get into this. Had a lot of requests for this. I think a lot of you have seen the marketing and pushing on this. This is the Garzini Cavare, and this is the caramel brown color. Neat little tray box in its presentation. Nice thought went in there. Some tissue paper. And let's see. Have this card in here. All right. Talks about how it functions because there is a little bit to understand with this. And we have some full straps here. Do we got anything in here? We don't. All right. Okay, let's take a look. They have different models, obviously. This is the Kvare, which has these two pull straps for top-down card storage. Of course, this is the magic... <laughs> Jeez, come on, can we like get past this? Portion of the wallet, put something in, all of a sudden it appears later, we'll show that. It's kind of interesting, but uh, from a construction perspective, you see that, of course, the management of these straps that cross over from one side to the other is important to its function. Now for a feature review of the Garzini Cavare wallet. Now, of course, the big thing of this is the magic portion. Good. I think we're done with that. But you see in the interior here, it is uh, consisted consists in this case of two straps, top bottom and a strap in the middle that walk itself through capture of primarily cash that you put in here. But of course there's more to this than just the magic portion. Right here in the top we actually have not one but two elastic pull straps for cat or cards that are put into these each of these card slots here. These internal card slots right here and that uh, provides great card access. Uh, immediate uh, card access if you want it without having to open up the wallet. Then on the interior here, besides the magic piece, we have two more card slots, one on the top of each of these. And so that can be longer term card storage here, archive cards, whatever you'd like to be. But you do have ample card storage in addition to the magic portion of the interior of this wallet. And that is a quick review of the features of the Garzini Cavare wallet. Now I'll explain the magic wallet system component after the card and cash insertion test, so let's do that test. From the test, you saw that I got six cards in there, two in each of these elastic slots, and then one, of course, in each of these interior. And then, of course, five slips of cash. You can see the euro in here, the 20 note and lower works just fine, as well as US currency. Uh, yen, not so much. You'd have to fold it twice. That kind of defeats the purpose on that. From a minimalist perspective, probably four cards. Eight is probably reasonable. Company says it can hold up to 12, but I have six in here, and you can see how thick this is getting here. So not quite sure how that will perform once it becomes even thicker. So now, it's designed in Belgium, where they have their headquarters, that's where it's located. Their raw material is sourced from Spain and India, with the manufacturing all being done by two family businesses in India. So it, uh, it's really from a quality perspective and from a leather perspective, it varies because they have all different kinds of leathers they use, which flow between the genuine top and even full grain leather. The croco pattern, for example, is really just stamped crocodile on a cowhide. It's machine sewn, and it has these rolled edges right here, and uh, that's not uncommon for wallets, for sure. In this case, though, it's very important because that's what actually provides the uh, pass-through mechanism for the straps, for the magic portion of this. And so that's why it, it has to pass through because it is all connected there, if you can see right there. We'll show that as we talk about the magic just a little bit more. Now, it has RFID. 
Yes, I know. Really no need for that. Uh, it, it's really not a, a big problem as companies would have you believe worldwide. If you're new to my to my complaining about this, search for RFID is a scam and you'll find it on the, on the channel page. Now, from a pull tab perspective, these are elastic and the engineering of it is interesting. So let's look at this video. We can see the elastic portion anchors to the bottom of the inside slot with the non-elastic strap material attached about halfway down. That creates the loop to capture the cards when you put them into the slot and actually provides that pullback from the elastic. It's really quite neat in how this functions and you know, we'll see how long that would last. Now the Garzini wallet's main feature is this magic wallet system we talked about. I remember seeing this functionality in small wallets about 20 years ago and it's been resurrected with Garzini across many different offerings. There are a couple other uh, wallet makers that do it as well, but let, let's look at the magic here. The magic comes from the illusion of these hinges here on both sides when you open and you close it. You can open and close it from either side. We kind of get this as a side view here of how that functions. And you can see as we pull it apart that the straps actually roll through to the other side. They're all connected there. Now, of course, placing cash on one side and folding it really places it on the other side and locks it in place and keeps it there. And there's one thing to note here. You want to make sure that your cash, when you're using it, is on this other side. It just makes it much easier to get into. So we'll take these euros out. <clears throat> we'll come back to the U.S. currency. You can place it you know, kind of wherever you want. It really doesn't quite matter. It always ends up on the one side and you will want to keep it here for storage. It's just as much easier to pull out and put back in. And of course, you can just walk this all the way through. Not a big deal. It just continues to, to migrate from one side to the other once it's already in the wallet. And the magic isn't so much magic as it just holds it in place long enough from one side to pick up to the other. And that's how it pulls it off as the magic trick itself. Now, regardless of which side you put your cash in, uh, don't try and plan it. Let's see if I put it here, it shows up over here. And if I put it here, it shows up. Just throw it in one side, slap it in, and just make sure that when you're pulling your cash, it really has the one strap much easier. Obviously, if we have the cash here, it becomes very difficult to get to, get to and to manipulate. So make sure you have your cash right here. And that is the magic of this particular wallet. Very clever design. And of course, this doesn't work with, uh, with cards uh, because they're too, too rigid. You have to do this with cash receipts, those kinds of things. And it's priced at $55 and the cash management is very easy and it's a bit fun to kind of mess with. The measurements are 4.25 by 2.95 by 0.4 and it weighs 41 grams. Now the original wallets I played with 20 some odd years ago, the straps were elastic. And, and that was to prevent the contents from falling out because it's held in place with elastic. Now, while not pre uh, prevalent, there have been some reports that the straps do stretch over time here, allowing cash to slip out of the wallet. Because you can see that you know, these are not elastic. These are leather straps. And so leather does stretch. I'm sorry, it just does. And you know, you put your finger in here and I kind of pull a little bit and you're going to have some give that's there and that may, may stay. And there's so been reports that as this stretches that cash just kind of falls out. There's no other way to keep it uh, in there. So uh, something to be aware of. Now, Jamie Jacobs also creates a similar magic wallet. It does it kind of in a crisscross pattern and it uses elastic. We'll do a review on that in the future. It's a fun little wallet to play with. It's just really another method for cash storage that isn't just the typical billfold pocket cash clip or some elastic strap. Now they also sell a version that has an integrated coin pocket as well for those that need to carry coins. You can request your wallet to be personalized and it does come with a one year warranty. Now they've penetrated the retail market very heavily in the EU with, uh, with what they've done and I'm sure the expansion will continue. So now let's get on to the final score. For quality of three, price of three, features of four, usability of four, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 34 out of 50. Smash the like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe. If you never thought you'd be watching a video about uh, a review on a wallet, well, you just did. And I'm sure that it's got piqued your interest. It does everybody's. So we'll see you in the next review. Bye.